Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial episode 12. I'm going to start by encouraging you uh, to go rate the show. You can see we're here on iTunes. I've got what, 10, actually I think I've got about 12 shows out now and no ratings. So customer ratings. I'd love it if you'd go in and give me a five star rating or even whatever rating you want and provide some feedback on how I can improve it if you're not up for a five star. Today we're going to look at WP e-commerce and specifically a bug in WP e-commerce. You can see this is one of my clients. This is the Wakefield Scarce Galleries. And we're going to look specifically at our breadcrumbs. You can see here it has the site home name and then it says furniture and then it says furniture again. And if we mouse over them, they're not quite even going to the same spot. It's just a repeated link and there's an issue with it. So if I click on even a product category, you can see now it says our home name, the product category I'm currently viewing, its parent category, and then the product category I'm currently viewing again. And if we go to a single product, now we actually start to see what that first link is supposed to be. It's supposed to be the inventory or the main shop page, which contains the products page shortcode for WP e-commerce. So the short version is, this is just broken. This is not how it should work. So we're going to start by going to our single product template and look for our breadcrumbs. We can see here it says WPSC output breadcrumb, which is great. So that's the function I'm looking for. So why don't we check our documentation on the WP Commerce site. You can see here it tells us that it outputs the breadcrumbs on all the pages, put it in all your templates, and it will only show if the user in the admin has decided to show it. But the unfortunate part here is that's it. It doesn't tell us anything else. So what we're going to have to do, and I'll close this so I can demonstrate I'm using PHP Storm. And if you hit Shift Control F, I'm going to look up WPSC output breadcrumb. And I want to look in custom for my project and libraries because I've set it up. I'll let it run its search. And you can see I've set up the external libraries here to have WP e-commerce as an external library. So I know that I don't want to look in my theme and I want to look in my libraries. And again, I don't want to look in the theme there. I want to look in the includes folder. And you can see here I have WPSC output breadcrumb. So this is the function that's called for outputting our breadcrumbs. And we can see that it actually has some options. Unfortunately, the documentation for it doesn't actually show us that. So it's got before breadcrumb, after breadcrumb, which is the main wrapper around all the breadcrumbs. It's got a place where you can put some HTML in before each and after each breadcrumb. You can change the separator for each bread breadcrumb, and you can decide if you want to show the home page or if you want to show the main products page and if you want to actually echo it out. So. One way we could do this is if we go to our breadcrumbs and we could put in args array and the one we want is show products page because I want to kill the products page. And I want to make that false. So now when I go back to my site, you can see that I've now dropped that initial page, the inventory page. But what I haven't done is fixed any of the other pages. So I made that change to the WPSC single product template. So that's only going to affect our single products. And that's not super useful. We could add it to all of our other templates, um, the grid view template, uh, which is what we saw there, but there's actually a better way. So if we take a look again, you can see here that on line 78, right there we have a filter and our filter changes our options. So if we go to our theme functions file, and you can see that I've already had this in here 
and I am calling our WPSC output breadcrumb options and I'm calling the Wakefield correct breadcrumbs function. So this takes in our options and then we're going to oh, not delete them. We're going to co correct our options. So I'm going to take the array and I'm going to change show product page to false and then I'm going to return the options. So now that I've uncommented that filter, go back to our grid view page and refresh. You can see that it just says furniture chests. So if we go to furniture, it no longer says furniture, furniture again. So what we've done is we've flattened down the breadcrumb hierarchy and we'll go to a single product as well. And you can see that it now just says furniture chests and then our single product name. And we've fixed our issue with the WP e-commerce breadcrumbs without hacking the core plugin, which we want to avoid uh, if at all possible. Thanks for watching.